hello darlings welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a high jumbo petal braid ponytail on your hair on your natural hair so as you guys can see my hair has a little bit of gel already laying down the edges because i had on my wig and i just took it off to do this ponytail my hair is clean it's just my edges that has um product on it so yeah i'm just going ahead with my water my spray bottle of water and i'm just spraying that to my edges just to soften up that gel before i go in and brush it and as you guys can see it's looking a bit white right now but i'm just gonna continue so i just brush here up to the center of my head up to the top like closer to the front of my head like you guys see i'm trying to show you guys right here and guys i struggled with my hair today i don't know what was going on my hair was just in a different frame of mind as if that is even a thing but yeah my hair was just doing things of its own it was just my hair was just not complying with me today it was extremely stubborn today so yeah i do have those very stubborn 4c natural hair days as well so yeah i'm just going ahead and brushing that in um after spraying the water on it and then i'm just going ahead adding more water just to soften the gel some more so it doesn't look so white at the edges and just brushing that in so before i started this hairstyle i had my hair in about two jumbo plaits that, that i was wearing underneath my wig and i should have gone in before and detangle my hair properly because it kind of needed that but guys i was trying to do this shortcut i was just trying to put my hair up in a ponytail without a, without the extra work and i did mention at the start of this year that i wanted to grow my natural hair a lot healthier in particular on my edges so when i do a lot of protective styles like these they do help my hair to grow but at the same time because i'm constantly styling my hair i'm constantly manipulating my hair I find that it might be slowing down the growth of my hair in some aspect so yeah this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to go in with a comb today to detangle it thoroughly as well as I did not want to um, stretch it with a tension method I just wanted to just I just wanted to see if I could get my hair in a ponytail with um, as little manipulation as possible yeah and as you guys can see right now I put it up in this ponytail so far and it's looking really really um bulky and yeah i think i needed to go in with a comb but i was just still trying to see if i could get this ponytail up so we're not looking too bad i just kept brushing it in so i'm just basically working the surface of it and i know the hair looks quite shorter now because it's still a bit shrunken because i had it in these big plaits and i did not go into thoroughly detangle it or anything i just pulled them out and just use my white tooth comb to just slightly detangle it So we survived i got up into a ponytail it's not extremely neat but it's not so bad and i'm just going ahead and adding some more Gor gorilla snot gel to the perimeter of my head and then i'm just brushing that in and neating my edges a little bit i'm not making any fancy baby hairs or nothing now i'm gonna go ahead and tie that down and allow it to set while i prepare the braid for my um plait and guys i'll be using one pack of expressions here today and i divided the hair in three sections so a two-thirds section and a one-third section so one section is bigger than the other section and then i just loop it over like this and i don't know if i've ever mentioned in my video how much i dislike expressions here guys i really 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 i don't like expressions here i rarely use it and every time i use this again i remember why i rarely use it because it gets tangled so easily and it's just really annoying like i've never heard anybody really talk about it how annoying this hair is unless i'm getting a weird expressions here over here but i don't think so i just think this hair is a lot more difficult to manage than a lot of other braiding hair so for example the outre jumbo braiding hair is so easy to manage it's so free it doesn't get tangled but the expressions here oh my gosh it's a piece of work it just always get tangled when i'm using it so after making the braid i'm just going ahead and spreading the hair So I just put it on my finger like this and as you guys can see the top of it is a little bit smaller it's not so important that you make it as wide as the base of it right now because it's gonna go around your bun and it won't be showing and this is all the amount of hair I left at the end 
now i made my natural hair into two plaits as you guys can see if your hair is a lot fuller than mine you might need to make it in more plaits and then i'm just putting the braiding here like this directly over my hair and then i just flip it backwards and this next step is very important i'm just gonna go ahead now and start tucking my natural hair through the braid like you see me doing here so i'm just going through those spaces in the braid and going in through one section and coming back out to the other section until all my natural hair is used up and i'm doing it this way because when i try to do this and fold under my natural hair like we would normally do um it was leaving a big bulge at the base and i did not want that so if your hair is a lot shorter or a lot thinner you can go ahead and use that method but if your hair is a lot fuller and it's also longer you might want to use this method where you just tuck it in between the braid next i'm going ahead with this braiding here and i'll be wrapping that around the base of it and i'm using a bobby pin to secure it in place I'm just tying this around my braid just to kind of keep it neat so guys I really wanted to do this hairstyle on my natural hair with no heat at all added and this is how it is looking right now so far so yeah we're just gonna go in now and I'm taking these um, perm rods and I'll be applying them to the small end portion of my hair just about two rods alone I'll be using and I use some beeswax to add them to the rods because that helped them to stay on the rods and it also tames the hair. And then I went off camera and hot water the hair. So guys, this is the finished look. This is how my braid came out. As you guys can see, my natural hair is not as sleek as I normally have it. I should have probably went in with my blow dryer first, but I really wanted to make this um, low manipulation. Yes, it does have a bit of um, flyaways, but it's not so bad. I think it's pretty cute and I really enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I really hope you guys found it helpful and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about um, this look on me. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.